gosh, I love that. Okay. Now that my montage is over, I think you guys have a pretty good idea that I have traveled out of state and I am now in Tennessee, which is so exciting. I used to live in Tennessee, actually. I'm so happy to be back and this is my first adventure in so long. I just feel so alive and living. So I'm very excited for today's video. Anyways, hello my loves, and today we are in Goodlitzville, Tennessee. There's a, like a lot of antique stores, vintage stores in this cute little town. Literally there's one here, there's one there. There's five there's on like, one street. Yeah, we're like on the main street right now and it's gonna be an amazing day of fun and picking. I'm so super excited. Just real quick before we get to shopping, for those of you that are new here, my name is Ashley and I both collect and resell vintage goods and antiques. So getting to the point, we are actually already here at our first destination called the Goodlitzville Antique Mall. And they got a nice little sign somewhere. Oh, we're blocking it, but there it is, you can see it. And it looks really big and it looks really nice. So I'm super, super excited. Let's go. Alrighty, here's the entrance and I am loving what I'm seeing already. Look at those light fixtures. Oh, I am in heaven. All kinds of rusty primitives on the outside. I can only imagine what's on the inside. Let's find out for ourselves, shall we? Ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh. oh wow. Look at this beautiful chandelier. Holy smokes. Ooh, and we got an antique map right here, actually. Let's grab some antique maps. Yay! I don't think you quite understand just how happy I am. It is a nice, beautiful, sunny day. I'm finally getting to wear some summer clothes and a beautiful dress-like thing. And the prices here are so reasonable. Like, oh my gosh. We're seeing some great things already. Look at this clock. Back to these chandeliers. You cannot ignore this absolutely stunning vintage wedding dress. Look at the train on it alone. And the absolutely like just beautiful delicate detail in it. Wow, is this gorgeous. The embroidered flowers. Oh, this is so beautiful. It's even got the veil and the long sleeves like I love. I actually do love this kind of thing, the lacy sleeves, but I could live without like the ruffled looking bib in the front, but it's still very cute and these chandeliers are spectacular. Oh, well, hello little lady, what's going on with you my dear child? An old bisque doll for $29. Is she a pincushion? Hmm. I mean if you wanted to use her as that you could, but aw. We got some quilts behind there. <laughs> now here's a mug for the fellas. What's the appropriate way to drink from that? Would it be from the front or from the side? I don't know. Oh understand. my gosh. It's from <laughs> Carolina Beach. She's apparently got a suntan. Um, yikes. We're gonna put her back. She is only $8. Uh, oh, now that's pretty cool. A horn. Maybe candlestick holder? <laughs> Ashtray. <laughs> I sound like an idiot. Yeah, I guess that you could use it as a tea light holder though. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I'm such a girl, I'm always thinking candles. I'm not thinking ashtrays. All right, so, so far we have just showed you guys the front of the store, but lo and behold, <gasps> look at that. Go underneath the garage door and wha-bam. We have a whole entire back area filled with things. Oh, oh my. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. It keeps going. Look at it. All right. We're going to be here a while because I'm having too much fun. Now this has caught my eye. Let's check it out together. What is it? It's a hand-painted necklace for $48. It's got this beautiful geisha on it. I actually think that's pretty fairly priced. That is definitely a beautiful statement piece. 
<laughs> okay, who made these? Who made the oh my gosh, no, these, oh, these are, I thought they were supposed to be mushrooms, but no, I don't think they're mushrooms. I think they are um, fine boner china. <laughs> Is that a serious thing? Oh my gosh. All right, cover your ears, ladies. <laughs> it's them, they put it like that. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting piece for sure. <laughs> All these hats. Okay, I am so hung up on this chandelier. <laughs> I want it. Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> All right, well, this um, booth is going to be my pocket's demise, so I'm walking out. <laughs> Holy stunner. This is awesome. It's an old cement dog. It is heavier than all Dickens. <laughs> But I love the weathered, just whole experience he's got going on. And he is, I am talking like very heavy, even if I try to lift him, it just doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Now just around the corner from that doggy doo, I see a lot of fun things in this booth, but for the paperweight collectors out there, look at this. It's a nice big heavy one. Only $10, and it's got these super fun and happy dolphins in it. Look at them. Trying to get the glare out of your way there. Look at those dolphins living their best life. <laughs> I love that. I think I'm going to get this. Now, it's really, really heavy, so I will have to use, like, flat rate shipping with this for sure. Creep in the shelves. I'm going to put down this because it's quite heavy. Ooh! Okay, oh my gosh. Oh, I think I found something. Okay, I'm not too sure. But, okay, here, watch me get super disappointed because this isn't going to be it. <gasps> Tell me it's going to be it. It's not it! <laughs> I thought it was going to be one of those with, like, the geisha at the bottom. <laughs> it's a sad day. <laughs> they do have teacups like that, though. So. Oh, that would have been too cool. Womp womp. <laughs> All right, now I gotta leave this corner because uh, I'm sad. This is a random little fellow. He's a cute little pixie elf. Now, people, I feel like either love these or hate these, but he is marked Japan. He's an older one, and these usually do fairly well on eBay. They're collectible, especially for people that like pixies and elves. He's only six bucks, so I'm gonna get him and throw him up in my shop. Here is a really innovative way and actually a really fun way. Oh, I like this. <laughs> I'm getting sidetracked. Um, a nice way to display old vintage cards or just store them using an old drawer. But back to this, it's got little 3D flower petals. Why are they right there in the middle of the sky? I don't know what's going on. Uh, early 1900s. $3.35 and it's 30% off. I I don't know. I kind of like it because it's just so random. It's like flying saucers. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Now, vintage Halloween postcards can be quite collectible because they weren't as popular back then, so you just simply don't see them as much. Uh, vintage postcards definitely have their own market and... There's a lot of factors that play into what they go for. Anyways, I don't think you guys want to sit here and watch me tear through postcards. So I'll just be on my merry way. Yeah. I'm in this absolutely gorgeous feminine booth and I started flipping through more vintage postcards and I couldn't help but laugh because I was randomly flipping through them. And then I found this. And I was like, babies! And then he's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, no, really, it says babies. And then I look at it further and it's like, let me taste it. Ah, it's just a little weird. <laughs> that is an interesting postcard. All right, and a random transition. So we obviously left that store now and we're headed to another. I bought a few things there. I pretty much already showed you guys everything I got, but... Now we're headed to, what's it called? 112 Antique Mall. 112 Antique Mall. And I don't know, he's the guy in charge of it all. He's good at finding places that are like open 
during all this like craziness and I'm just not like I'll drive somewhere and they'll be closed so that's the story of my life. So we're headed there now and I know nothing about it except that I cannot wait to see what's inside of it and that sounds really perverse. And we're already at our next destination actually and you'll never believe what's in front of me. It's dun, 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 a gigantic elephant. Oh, look at him. He is looking pretty happening. And wee! <laughs> <laughs> Big leaps and bounds. So look at all the stuff they have outside. It is such a beautiful sunny day. I wish you guys could feel the beautiful sunny warmth on your skin because it's just delightful. Coffee. Yeah, look at that. Ooh, we got some claw feet. That's nice, that's nice. So yeah, they got a lot of marvelous things, a lot of rustic goodies, a lot of doors, obviously, old weathered benches and chairs, concrete fountains, bird baths, I should say, and this old couple. We got a porch swing and just a lot of good stuff. Ooh, look at this owl. Oh, I want the owl. How much do you think this owl is? I want him. How much? How much? Quite reasonable. Is 40, he? 45 bucks. Oh, he's gonna come home with us. Look at that owl. Oh my gosh. Okay, I want that owl. I, I'm not even joking. I love the owl. Oh, look at this little frog over here too. Frog's not coming home. Frog's not coming home, but that owl most definitely is. I love his weathered look. Okay, so I haven't even made it inside of, and I've already spent $45. Cool. Cool story, Ashley. Let's get inside. And we're in. Okay, I love it. Oh, wow. So much to see. Okay, it's going to be a good time. <laughs> I love this sign. This ain't no museum. This junk's for sale. That is so me. So happy to hear. Look at all these oil lamps. Very varied in price. Holy moly. Whoa. This is a cast iron bird cage. What? What's going on in there, guy? Doesn't look very comfortable for you. Huh. Yeah. So for this, they want a hundred dollars. I don't think that's terrible. No, that is really actually awesome. <gasps> Ooh, and I hear some primitive bits that I like. I do like my door handles. We got some glass ones, some porcelain ones, rusty pieces. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> ooh, that's pretty. Okay, whoa, holy moly, we have a seashell chandelier, and it's amazing. $90 though. Oh, uh, this hurts my heart. 90 bucks. This is so nice though. Like it's very, very detailed. Oh man. <laughs> I'm in trouble. Okay. Here's a booth called Owl House Vintage. And they don't have any macrame owls, but they do have this really fun, like bohemian, just really raw, earthy look wall hanging piece and it's quite enticing. I'm curious how much they want. I'm gonna guess that they probably want like 95 for it. What do you think? It's 120. Oh, it's by an artist, Don Friedman. Ooh, over here we got some, ooh, we got a date with Elvis. Ooh, ladies, for only $6, you can have a date with Elvis. Okay, so the very front of the store when you walk in is right there. We've kind of looped all the way around and look at this way. There's more booths. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're greeted by some Hager swans for $45 each. That's not too bad. Ooh, it's not just one of me, not just two of me, but three of me. <laughs> all right, I'm done. Here is a really, really awesome, packed, full with primitives booth. I am loving what I'm seeing. All kinds of goodies. And now they have this skull up here. Kind of interesting. Let's see, how much do they want? $75 for a steer skull. Wow. Well, that sure is something, isn't it? 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a rusty mailbox. Now, oh, I kind of want to put this out as my legitimate mailbox, just to describe like the type of person I am. <laughs> it's forty dollars for this old rusty mailbox with a slot, though. That's Got kind of handy. Slot. Yeah, the slot makes it. Yeah, I, is it bad? I mean, can I put this out? Would they yell at me? My neighborhood, you think? <laughs> really? I love it. Look at oh, look at that fly. I might get this if I can't use it. I, I don't know. Just decor. <laughs> I have really weird taste. I don't know what you guys want me to tell you. Some all horseshoes for eight bucks. And this guy. Oh, these these are pretty collectible. How much for you, sir? A hundred and twenty-five dollars for this yard jockey with a lantern. And there you have it. The store is officially closed. We stayed until uh, we were the last ones, and now, ugh, time to get in the car. <laughs> Squeeze my little self in here. Oh, my dress is caught on my shoe, and then my dress is caught on that too. <laughs> oh, look at his little rusty face. The feeling of rust against my fingers. Anyways, they wound up coming down on the price. They give it um, to us for 40 so yay, yay, yay. Ooh, and I got a free piece of string. Ain't that fun? And that, my dear ladies and gentlemen, is a wrap. So I had a lot of fun today. It was the first time I've got to get out in a long time. It is absolutely beautiful outside. It is like in the 80s. It's almost 90, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. I had a lot of fun browsing. I love not being in Illinois and shopping in different states. I was expecting the prices to be a little better. I always think that Illinois is so like pricey, but it was pretty comparable. We're, we're close to Nashville. Yeah, well, that, that has it. yeah probably has some probably has a lot to do with it. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Tomorrow we're gonna have another jam-packed day in Tennessee, full of picking and fun. So be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm done rambling. Love you guys so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>